Hey there, and welcome to the library. In this screencast, I want to show you how you can use Destiny to Discover to search for books, place holes on physical books, and also be able to check out and read and listen to both ebooks and audiobooks right from your computer or um, if you prefer to your mobile device. So let's just get right into it. The first thing I want to do is I want to be able to get to Destiny to Discover, and there's really two ways to do it. So Right off the bat, we have our North High School team right here. And I have the library channel. Destiny to Discover is linked up here at the top. Now, this works if you're in Teams, and it's going to pop up right here. There's also another way to get there, um, and that is through uh, the district website. So the district website at the top has, um, on the side here, I'm sorry, has all of these uh, links, and there is one for library services. And we click there, and it's going to take us into uh, all the different school websites. So I'm going to click on North Library right here, and the North Library website is going to pop up. And I'm going to click on Collections. It's a couple extra clicks um, to do it this way, but whichever way you prefer, I can click on this box here, or I can click right here. So when I get there, Destiny Discover is going to open up. Now the first thing I'm going to say is that whether you're doing this on the computer like I am right now, or you're doing it on the web, it's going to look exactly the same. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you come in here, uh, before you look at anything, is you want to actually log in. So I'm going to click login up here. Now this year, um, logging in is very, very easy compared to years past. What I'm going to do is you have this login using uh, your account with Valley Stream Central High School District. I'm gonna click that and it is automatically going to log you in. Now, if you're doing this on a home computer or a device that's not um, uh, your mobile device, if it's not like a school issued laptop or anything like that, you're gonna have to enter your Microsoft's uh, account password and log in, in there, um, but it'll get you right in. It'll say your name right up here. For me, it's saying, welcome back. Um, and this is it. I have all the books at my disposal now. Everything that's physically in the library or is digitally part of the collection is right here. So first and foremost, I have recently added books. If I want to see what was uh, most recently purchased and I want to go through there, I can look through here. I can see popular titles. I can see all different types of titles that people are uh, checking out. Um, I can see ebooks that I have here. Um, and these I can read right on here. Um, and I have all these audiobooks as well that I can check out. Um, so, um, and down here below, there's a bunch of collections that I, the librarian, have made um, and have in here for you to look based on uh, the different types of things you might want to see. So, like I said, um, well, let me back out of here real quick. I think I accidentally clicked on that. If I want to search for a book specifically, if I know exactly what I want, like let's say I want to read. Um, let me click here, this magnifying lens. I want to see if the library has a very specific title. I want to see if it has uh, this book, Paperboy, which um, I actually read this summer um, and it was fantastic. So I'm going to just type that in right there. It's going to search through the entire system and it is going to bring up what we have. So this is actually Copyboy is the sequel, but this one right here, Paperboy, is the book I'm looking for. So if I want to check a little bit more information, I can click on the title and it'll tell me that stuff. Um, but let's say I'm like, okay, I want this book. This is a physical, um, I could tell that it's a physical book because it says the word book right there and it is currently in. That green symbol means that it is in. If I want to place a hold on it, simply just click hold. It will send a message to the librarian or someone at the circulation desk saying to grab that book and to get it for you. You can pick that book up, don't even have to search the shelves or anything like that. Everything can be done on here. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's how you would get a book in the system. You can see that it is out um, and all you'd have to do is to go pick that up. Um, that's if you are searching for a book specifically. If you're just looking around, seeing what's there, you can kind of search through the different um, covers and, and go into them, um, which is a lot uh, easier than just like randomly picking books off the shelves. Um, now, this system also has ebooks. So I'm going to click here for seeing all of the ebooks. Now, with ebooks, um, you don't have to pick anything up. All you do is check books out, um, and that's pretty much it. So, ebooks, uh, some of them are able to be checked out by everyone at once, 
um, and some of them can only be checked out one at a time. So for example, um, if you see a blue um, box with like this little infinity symbol, which looks like an eight turned over on its side, that means that everyone can check this book out at the same time. If you just see the in and out, um, this means that it's an ebook uh, and it can only be checked out um, one at a time. So let's say I want um, a big Avatar The Last Airbender fan. I'm going to click on this right here. This particularly is a graphic novel. Um, it is an ebook. It tells me so right here. Um, and let's say I just want to check this out. I'm going to check it out. It goes to out. It says the title has been checked out and I can open it as well. It's gonna do its thing and it's gonna open up and it's gonna now in Destiny Discover um, pretty much show me the book for me to read. It's loading and I'm gonna allow this. And here we go. So the ebook appears, um, whether I'm doing this on my laptop or if I'm doing this on my mobile device, um, it looks exactly the same. You actually uh, have a bigger screen on your laptop, of course, um, but it's going to look exactly the same. I can scroll through this. Um, if you're on your phone or on a tablet, you can swipe through it with your finger and I'm going to close the book right there. Audiobooks work exactly the same way. So actually I'm going to return this too because I don't want to keep it out. So I'm going to click return. The ebook's going to go back in the system. I don't even have to do anything or you know, go into the library for anything like that. Um, I'm going to go back and really the last thing I want to show you here is how to check out an ebook, uh, how to check out an audiobook because we do offer audiobooks. Um, we have a nice collection here and audiobooks work exactly the same way as your ebook. Um, so let's say I want to read uh, Flush by Carl Hassan, or really read it. Um, I highly recommend this book. It's fantastic. Whether you're a senior in high school, it might not be a like uh, difficult read for you, but it's still a great story. Um, I can click in here, um, and I will know that it's an audiobook because it's going to say "Follow it Audiobook." I can check it out as well, and the title has been checked out, and I can play it. And this is going to play now. If you're doing this on your phone. Um, or on a tablet, an iPad, or anything like that. Um, it'll just play like normally, um, how like a podcast or your music will play. It'll just play through the Destiny Discover app um, and it'll go through. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah. here we Happy go. Happy Father's Day, I said. There you go. Stood out the I'm gonna pause it right there. Um, and I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna return this back. So this is really how you do it. I know it's a lot of information um, kind of thrown at you, but you have here for you to use. Um, and this video in the future is going to be posted to your uh, to the North Library team. And for future reference, it's also right here on the library page. So this is how you uh, get to Destiny Discover, how you log in, how you can search for books, how you can place holds on physical books and immediately check out ebooks and audiobooks. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to send me a message on Teams. Um, take care. Have a great day.